In this video, we're going to complete example three. This time we're multiplying a fraction by a whole number. Now, it's not much different to multiplying fractions by fractions. All we do is we take the first fraction, in this case, two thirds, and we turn the whole number into a fraction. 12 is the same as 12 over one. Now, in case you don't know why, 12 over 1 is the same as 12 divide 1 and 12 divide 1 equals 12. All right, so whenever you have a whole number, you can just put it over 1. In fact, when we look at question B, that's going to be 7 over 1 and the 30 apples is going to be 30 over 1. All right, so let's work on question A here. So if we multiply it, we multiply the numerators. 2 times 12 is 24 and our denominators 3 times 1 is 3. So we have the fraction 24 over 3. Now we can simplify this fraction by dividing the top and the bottom by 3. What do we get when we do that? Well 24 divide 3 is 8 and 3 divide 3 is 1. Now earlier we mentioned that 12 can be converted into 12 over 1. Similarly, 8 over 1 can be converted to a whole number of 8. So 2 thirds of 12 is 8, or 2 thirds times 12 is 8. Let's now move on to question B. We had the whole number 7, which is rewritten as 7 over 1, and we're multiplying this by 3 over 4, because the word off just means to multiply. Multiplying our numerators, 7 times 3 is 21, and multiplying our denominators, 1 times 4 is 4. We get a solution that is an improper fraction, 21 over 4. So how many times does 4 fit into 21? Well, 4 fits into 21 5 times with a remainder of 1. Remembering that the denominator stays the same. The denominator was 4, so for our solution, we keep it as 4. Our solution for question B is 5 and a quarter. Moving now on to question C. Once again, we got the word of, which just means to multiply. So we're going 4 over 5 times 30 or times 30 over 1. So when we multiply this out, 4 times 30 is 120, and 5 times 1 is 5. Now just remembering that fractions can be treated as division. We can treat 120 over 5 as 120 divide 5, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm doing this because I reckon when I do it, I'm going to get a whole number. So what's 120 divide 5? Well, it equals 24. So for question C, we're going to have the result of 24 apples. Anyway, that concludes our video on example three. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.